There is a star in the sky that is dying before our eyes. It's not just any star. It's one of the largest ever known. A colossal flame that has lit up the constellation of Orion for millions of years. Its name is Betelgeuse, and it is about to stage the most breathtaking spectacle the universe can offer. Its own death. If Betelgeuse were in the sun's place, its size would be so absurd that it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter dot for thousands of years. This red beacon on Orion's shoulder has been a constant companion to humanity. Ancient Egyptians watched it rise over temple walls. Greek and Arab astronomers documented its fiery glow. To them, it was a guiding star, bright, steady, and eternal. Yet behind that familiar shimmer lies a truth more dramatic than anything imagined. Betelgeuse is a dying giant, burning through its final moments on a cosmic clock. Unlike our sun, which ages slowly and predictably, Betelgeuse is a supergiant, a starborn massive, unstable, and destined for a short, spectacular life. Its swollen form is so vast that if it were placed in our solar system, its surface would stretch far past Mars. Its outer layers barely cling to the core, drifting like loose fabric in a cosmic wind. Though it appears calm from Earth, Betelgeuse is a storm. Its surface churns with convective waves the size of planets. It brightens, dims, pulses, and shakes, each fluctuation hinting at deeper turmoil. Astronomers have long known that it would one day end in a supernova, but no one expected the signs to be so clear and so soon. Every flicker is now a clue, every small shift is a message. Betelgeuse is approaching the final stages of its life, and we are the first generation to watch its decline with modern instruments. As we move forward, we will explore the strange dimming that shocked astronomers and reveal just how unstable the giant has become. Because Betelgeuse isn't just fading, it's warning us. For centuries, Betelgeuse behaved like a restless but familiar friend, a star known for gentle variations in brightness. Its subtle pulses were normal for a red supergiant, the natural breathing rhythm of a massive star nearing old age. But in late 2019, something unprecedented happened. The red light that dominated Orion began to fade. Dramatically, dot astronomers around the world were stunned. Betelgeuse wasn't dimming slightly. It was collapsing in brightness at record speed. Within weeks, the star's luminosity dropped by over 50%, becoming the faintest it had ever been observed in human history. The entire astronomy community erupted with one question. Was this the beginning of the supernova? News outlets reported the phenomenon. Amateur stargazers checked their telescopes in disbelief. Even experienced researchers admitted they had never seen anything like it. Betelgeuse's sudden fade aligned with predictions of a star about to explode, triggering excitement and concern worldwide. But then, almost as quickly as it dimmed, Betelgeuse brightened again. The surprising rebound revealed what had really happened. A massive convective bubble, a rising plume of superheated gas, had burst through the star's surface. The expelled material cooled, forming a gigantic dust cloud that drifted across our line of sight and temporarily blocked Betelgeuse's light. In simple terms, the star coughed out part of itself. This event, known as the Great Dimming, was unlike anything astronomers had ever witnessed from a red supergiant. It showed that Betelgeuse is not just aging, it's becoming unstable. Its surface is boiling, shifting, and ejecting material in colossal eruptions. Its internal balance is weakening as it burns the last layers of fuel. The dimming was not the supernova, but it was a warning, a flare from a star entering its final, unpredictable stage. To understand where Betelgeuse is heading, we have to go deep inside it, far beneath the swollen, trembling surface and into the raging furnace that dictates its fate. A star's death begins long before it shows signs in the sky, and Betelgeuse's core has been preparing for its final act for thousands of years. Every star lives by a single rule. Gravity pulls inward, fusion pushes outward. As long as these forces remain balanced, the star survives. But massive stars like Betelgeuse burn through their fuel at a reckless pace. In its youth, it fused hydrogen into helium, generating the immense pressure needed to resist collapse. But as the hydrogen ran out, the core shrank and heated, igniting new layers of nuclear fusion, helium into carbon, carbon into oxygen, oxygen into heavier and heavier elements. Each stage lasted a fraction of the previous one. The star grew more unstable with every ignition, and now Betelgeuse has reached the most dangerous stage of all. It is building iron. Iron is the dead end of fusion. Instead of releasing energy, it absorbs it. When the core becomes rich with iron, 
the star loses its internal support, the outward pressure collapses, gravity wins instantly, catastrophically. This collapse happens in less than a second. The core shrinks from the size of a planet to the size of a city, compressing into unimaginably dense matter. Temperatures soar to billions of degrees. As the core snaps inward, the outer layers, the layers we see flickering in Orion, begin to fall, plunging toward the collapsing center. Then comes the rebound. The inner core stiffens, slams against infalling material, and triggers a shockwave that blasts outward with violent, universe-shaking force. This is the birth of a supernova, the most powerful explosion the natural world can produce. Betelgeuse will not simply fade away, it will detonate, its brilliance will exceed that of entire galaxies. For weeks, it may even shine in Earth's daytime sky. And while the star shows no exact timeline for when this collapse will occur, its internal processes rapid fusion cycles, chaotic surface eruptions, and the great dimming all point to a star in its final volatile phase. Betelgeuse sits roughly 640 light years from Earth, close enough to dominate our night sky, yet far enough that we witness everything it does as a message from the past. The light we see tonight left the star in the 1300s, when humanity lived in castles and carried swords, unaware that a red supergiant was sending its ancient glow across space. And this single fact leads to one of the most thrilling possibilities in modern astronomy. Betelgeuse may have already exploded, and we just don't know it yet. If the star went supernova in the 1400s, the light of that explosion would still be traveling through space right now, racing toward us at the speed of light. At any moment, tonight, next month, or years from now, the sky could suddenly erupt with a new, brilliant point of light, one so bright it could cast shadows at night one that would rival the moon, one that could even be seen in broad daylight. This is not science fiction. This is exactly what a red supergiant supernova would look like from Earth at Betelgeuse's distance. The moment it happens, telescopes across the world will detect a burst of high-energy particles arriving first, neutrinos, the earliest messengers of stellar death. Within hours, the sky will transform. Betelgeuse will ignite with the force of a billion suns, flooding our atmosphere with a spectacular, harmless glow, harmless, because despite the power of the explosion, we are far enough away to be completely safe, no dangerous radiation, no harmful shockwave, just a cosmic show of unprecedented beauty, perfectly positioned for human observation. For weeks, the bright flash will dominate the heavens. Photographers, scientists, and stargazers will capture every moment. The familiar outline of Orion will be forever changed its red shoulder replaced by a brilliant white blaze marking the death of a giant. And when the light finally fades, Betelgeuse will disappear, leaving behind a new remnant, a neutron star, or perhaps a rapidly spinning pulsar, beaming slices of radiation into space like a cosmic lighthouse. When Betelgeuse finally collapses and unleashes its supernova, the spectacle in our sky will last only weeks, but its true legacy will stretch across millions of years because the death of a massive star is never just an ending. It is the beginning of everything that comes after, at the heart of the explosion. Matter will be compressed into an object the size of a city, a neutron star, an ultra-dense core left behind when the collapsing layers slam inward and rebound. If it spins rapidly, it may become a pulsar, sweeping beams of radiation across space like a cosmic lighthouse. For centuries, astronomers will study this remnant, tracing its rhythm to learn the final moments of Betelgeuse's life. But the real magic happens in the debris that's launched outward. The supernova will hurl its outer layers into space at unimaginable speeds, scattering elements forged deep within its core. Iron, calcium, nickel, silicon, and even gold and platinum will surge across the Orion region like a cosmic rainstorm. These heavy elements, created in the last violent seconds of the star's life, will drift for millennia mixing with clouds of gas and dust. Then eventually, those clouds will collapse again. They always do dot from the ashes of Betelgeuse. New stars will ignite. New planets will form around them. New atmospheres will develop. Somewhere, in some distant age, those elements may become oceans, mountains, soils, creatures, maybe even civilizations looking back at the sky, wondering about the stars that came before them, because everything around us and everything within us began in explosions, just like this. The iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, the gold in our jewelry, all of it was forged inside stars that lived and died long before Earth existed. 
Betelgeuse is simply the next chapter in this ancient cosmic cycle. When the red giant finally fades from Orion's shoulder, the sky will never look the same again. But its disappearance won't represent loss, it will represent transformation. A reminder that the universe grows through destruction, renews itself through chaos, and shapes new worlds from the remnants of old ones. Betelgeuse's last act will be a supernova, but its story will echo in every star, every planet, and every life that follows Dotton so. As we watch Orion's red shoulder shimmer in the night sky, we are reminded that even the brightest giants must one day fall, and that from their ashes, the universe begins again. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, keep looking up, and I'll see you in the next video.